Hi, my name is PJ and today we're going to be installing a rollback G2 on this 2012 F-250 crew cab short bed. Okay, the first step we're going to do is take the pieces of angle aluminum. We're going to match them up to the front. Now when you do it, you've got the two holes. Obviously those are going to go into uh, the side of the bed rail. But you want to make sure that the top is flush with the bed rail. And then you'll just take your self-tapping screws with a high-speed drill and then just put them in. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, we've attached the canister to the brackets. Now, next is the rails. Um, you want to go ahead and close the tailgate because you're going to need to use that space, uh, spacing in the back to properly align the rail. So you're going to go ahead and put it on. Make sure you go ahead and cut the plastic off because you will need to bring this up so it goes on properly. And you want to leave an eighth of an inch gap between the rail and the tailgate. And when they start snugging up, go to the top, push down for your secure tight fit. And do the same thing to all three. Okay, next we're going to take an 11 millimeter uh, socket and on the underneath um, just loosen up these bolts so when you pull the cover out the rails itself can uh, glide to the proper position. You're going to do that on both sides. After the cover is installed uh, you're given an extra cleat that you can actually slide up and down the track wherever you'd like. Uh, that way when you go to close it uh, you can partially open it if you want, rather than um, opening it up all the way. Next, we're uh, attaching the stopper bar uh, that goes across. That way, when you let it go, it doesn't retract back into the canister. So it's just a matter of taking the slot, putting it over the bolt, taking your lock nut, and just tightening it up. Finger tight for right now. Uh, do the same thing to the other side. Center it, and then, go, and then tighten it up. Okay, next we're going to attach the bracket that holds the canister top. So we're going to just, you're just going to lay it down. You've got two holes that are already pre-drilled on there. Just use your self-tapping screws. For right now, you just want to keep them loose because when you put the lid on, you've got to be able to adjust it in and out to get the proper um, tightness. Next, we're going to do is just put on the weather stripping on the front. That way, it gives it a nice, even uh, flush mount all the way around. So you're just going to take it, put it on the inside corner. Make sure it's up snug against the, the bed cap if you've got one and then just run down, just do the inside the whole way down, and then trim up the excess on the other side. Okay, uh, we've already done the other side. What you're going to do is you're going to put the top on, center it where it's supposed to be, take the brackets, uh, push them where they need to be, s easily pull the top up so the bracket stays where it's at, and then you're just going to go and tighten back up the screws. In this case, i got to move it in just a little bit. Uh, last thing of the install is to drill the hole for the drain tube. Uh, for the Fords, they've got a rubber plug up front uh, that you can drill through. The majority of the vehicles do, so we're just going to drill a 7 8 So you're just going to take your hose, run it down. You can either do one or two things. You can either leave it, leave it long and just push to where the water goes all the way down. And then you just put it in, or you can cut it to size. In this case, we're just going to Push it down. Okay, now to secure the, the canister top, we've done our brackets, and now we're just going to take our self tapping screws, going through the hole that's already on the bracket, and then just screw it into the top. That completes the installation. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day.